got pushed right back from the roots and uh, you know, pulled out. So they, they can do that. Okay. And they do that obviously when you don't cut them back or, or they get da damaged by frost, um, they will push up a lot of suckers. And that's what we use to retrain. But this particular block here, is where I'm actually a little bit more excited about, this is Syrah and uh, the red variety. And there was initially set up just like the Chardonnay was. Standard VSP, you know, we're training up things, and then I said, well, let's look at some alternative trellising methods. Okay. How can we train those vines? So this first row that Kyle is standing at right now is, I call it a, a low single wire, AKA California sprawl. Mm -hmm. A lot of grapes are in California and the Central Valley are grown that way. Mm -hmm. You still have your cordon, but instead of training your shoots up, mm -hmm. you just let them droop. Okay. And so what they do, they put in actually a second wire, with the idea that the second wire is about 10, 12 inches above the cordon wire. And the idea is that some of the shoots, when they grow up, eventually they're going to leave, right? Mm -hmm. And half the shoots are going to lean over that direction. Mm -hmm. and, the, and so your fruit is actually inside, protected by a lot of leaves that droop over, which is a very good way of protecting fruit in very hot climates, because fruit can sunburn. And so the fruit develops in the shade. It should have a little bit of dappled light. It shouldn't be complete shade, uh -huh. which, which you know, it all depends uh -huh. how much leaf area you have. Yeah. But it protects the fruit from excessive heat. Okay. And so if you look at the Central Valley in California, uh -huh. 115, 120 degrees, yeah. Yeah. really hot. You want more shade. <laughs> okay. Years and years and years ago, they actually did VSPs, uh -huh. and they found out very quickly that they were burning all the fruit. Of training grapes. In this particular, in this particular side. So, so this is your low single wire, the California score. Mm -hmm. This is another uh, VSP system, just like over there. Okay. You're using the wires to make it a little, you know, you can see the mm -hmm. narrow hatch rule down, mm -hmm. down the line. This one here is called a Silvos. Uh -huh. It's a mid-height system. Uh -huh. The difference when I was explaining earlier, we tend to prune to two bud spurs, very uh -huh. short. Mm -hmm. These ones we actually prune long. Okay. You leave them long, leave them longer. but okay. you leave less of them, so the canopy again widens. In some cases, this is a system very frequently used with Sanchevese in Italy. It's a very common system for them. How fenos are they grown in a year? Like you can trim well, everything you see here is pretty much one year except for one the trunks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they can grow. They can grow. Yes. I mean, if you look at it, this one is still growing. Mm -hmm. I mean, barely, but yeah. it still is growing. There's a right. growing tip right here. Right. It, will, it will slow down now. Um, so, so you don't let it go out, but you, you put those nets here. The nets like only came on up, uh, about three, four weeks ago. So when the fruit starts ripening, uh -huh. the birds get attracted to them uh -huh. and they start eating it. So we picking, we actually just picked the block here last week. This net will come up as soon as we have time to get there. Oh, but we have other varieties to pick still, so okay. harvest takes precedent over this, but this comes off as, as soon as you get to it. So this is, is protecting it? Protected so from the birds. Yeah. Yeah. from yeah. the birds. And, I see. and if you see, there's a bucket here. Double curtain. And, and the way this one works, you can best see it over here. You put a crossfire in. Remember on the VSP, we have one wire and two arms. Uh -huh. Well, here we actually take one wire on this side, oh, one yeah. wire on this side, uh -huh. and then we are able to actually lay down one, two, three, four arms. I see. So, so basically, you so you can actually double the number of buds you lay down. I see. In, in, in this system now, to do that, the plant has to be vigorous. You can't just say, I'm going to have more yield. Mm -hmm. You also have to have good shoot growth, otherwise it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So only if you have enough vigor can you start doing something like that. Is that Same. largely dependent on variety? Uh, it's both variety and sight. Okay. So, yeah. you know, if you're on a really low vigor sight, even a high vigor variety is not going to be really vigorous. Okay. But you put that same variety in a really fertile, sandy loam with good water, good nutrition, and you might have way too much vigor. You'd also done some some work on the the height that the cordon's off the ground. Yes. Is yeah. this this is pretty typical for GDC, isn't it? This is typical for GDC. GDC is, is used a lot in the eastern US, in colder areas. Um, it's used a lot with hybrid varieties. 
um, for two reasons really. One, some varieties like to go up mm -hmm. and some like to go down. Mm -hmm. Syrah is actually one that can go either way. I see. Most hybrids have what we call a droopy habit. It means they're actually going to go downward. Mm -hmm. right and so true. if you put them here and try to cool them up, oh. they just don't want to do that. The oh. habit is to go down. Yeah. So you just put them high so they and let them follow their natural nice. habit. Mm -hmm. One, two, in midwinter or in a cold night, mm -hmm. from here to here is a 12 degree difference in oh. temperature. We have measured minus six and six above the same night, the same location. And we had over 100 sensors in here and they all did the same thing. Oh. Which means when you have no wind, cold air is heavier than warm air. Yeah. Do you do cellar dressing occasionally? Have you ever mixed water and oil? Yeah. Well, oil is light, right? Right. But if you mix it, you have all the oil droplets in the water. Mm -hmm. If you set it still, what will happen? The oil will yeah. just flow mm -hmm. to the top. Mm -hmm. So the same with cold air and mm -hmm. warm air. Warm mm -hmm. air is light, so it rises above, the mm -hmm. cold air drops to the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's why near the ground is your coldest. The further up you go, the warmer it gets. So mm -hmm. by having a high trellis like this in a spring frost night, mm -hmm. maybe it's 30 here, mm -hmm. which would damage cordons or buds on cordons here. Mm -hmm. Probably 34 here. Oh, and so you're good. So these these high canopies are less prone to spring frost damage oh, than your lower ones. So these oh, are the main two reasons when you're in cold climates with hybrids. Mm -hmm. Droopy habits and it's warmer up high. Okay. Um, but yeah. with this system we just converted this from a, what was before a single center high, high wire. Mm -hmm. We just went to GDC this, this uh, year. Mm -hmm. Not all the vines could be changed over. Mm -hmm. So I was a little pragmatic and that if you look over there, mm -hmm. I just let the center in. <laughs> I didn't take it out. See, this plant here still has a center because I didn't have enough to get my four arms. Yeah. So I just let the center arm in. But this is now the most productive system. Okay. By just making that simple change from two arms to four arms, increasing your butt number, mm -hmm. again, you have to have vigor. But one of the things that you're seeing frequently is like, see this? This came here, mm -hmm. there's nothing on it. Uh -huh, yeah. There's one, one shoot here, one. so we yeah. have all this area with one shoot, yeah. which means we do have damage. And if you only had two of those, you get a shoot here and there. By having four of them, you instantly double the number of shoots and, and potentially double the yield. Mm -hmm. And if it's a good year, then you double your yield. Yes. If not, then you well, you will double your yield no matter what, because yeah. you know, you're going to get twice the number of shoots out. Right. If they're very fruitful shoots, you have a big yield. If they're less fruitful, you have a lower. But it will definitely be more than our standard system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and if the standard system is doing two tons, this will do four. Yeah. And with four tons, I'm starting to get in, into you know economic viability here. Yeah. So I'll show you a couple more systems that I've 